Hello, hello, everybody. I hope you are good. Let me first thank you for the positive feedback that I got after the first video that I posted. I have seen beautiful feedback. I received beautiful messages after that uh, video. And I have seen people changing people's attitude towards the teaching profession being redefined. And that is the ultimate purpose. And I am grateful. Now, of the comments that I got, there's one which took my attention in terms of salary and how are young teachers supposed to be motivated and inspired to stay in the profession. First of all, I would say, know why you are here. We are in a noble profession, truth be told. The work we are doing is immeasurable. We are doing a great work, which is unfortunately not being considered or not being taken seriously by other people, even some of our superior officials. Then this then makes us to be left with a task to make it work for us. Those of us who are on the ground, we need to make sure that we level it for the sake of our advantage. We are put in this profession and we are also put there in this profession so that we should live. We should not be teachers who are starving. Because if we are starving, then we will not be able to deliberate onto the mandate which is interested upon us. Now, how do you live and survive? Market your subject. You market your subject. Concurrently, you'd be marketing yourself. This is how you do it. You market yourself through results. When you teach kids and they are doing well, kids cannot keep quiet. They will tell the parents, they will tell the community, they will tell. For as long as there's a good teacher at a certain school, kids will always talk. Kids will always require extra lessons from you. Kids will always give their parents your contacts so that they call you to make arrangements so that you teach their kids and that will come at an extra cost for you. Now, as you market yourself that way, I tell you, first impression lasts longer. Don't be a teacher who, after getting employed, just relaxes and say, no, I am here, then I'm fine, I'm just going to leave. No. Work hard. Expose yourself to the outside world. Leave this mediocrity mentality and teach with diligence. By so doing, you'd be marketing yourself. You'd be marketing your subject. You will then attract the entire community to yourself. As parents would be bringing kids to you for extra lessons, I tell you, they will be giving you extra money which will be able to sustain you. You will know no lack. I am talking from experience. Number two, create a good name for yourself. Have good, pub, good publicity. Let your name speak for you. All right? Let your name speak for you. They must know you to be the best in the game. They must know you to be the best in the game. And when you are given an opportunity to execute a particular task, give it your best. Give it your best. I guarantee you, you will attract too much people in the community. They will trust you with their kids and that will attract even income your way. And you don't have to be at a secondary school to conduct extra lessons. Uh -uh. Even at a primary school, there are excellent foundation phase teachers that I know who are even having aftercare centers who teach little kids in grade R1, 2, and 3. They teach them at home in their garages. Why? Because they are exceptional in the field. People have a misconception of saying extra lessons can only be done by mathematics and physical sciences teachers in the high school. That's a lie. 
any teacher in any subject for as long as they are excellent they can have extra lessons they can do private tutoring they can do online teaching they can do radio lessons they can do any other thing that you can think of that generates extra income for teachers the other point that i'm going to say towards the closure volunteer your services it is not easy for people to be convinced that you are good, especially if you are an, a newly entering teacher into the profession. You must prove yourself. When you hear that there's a camp at a particular center, go there. Even if you are not going to be paid, go there. Introduce yourself. Request for a slot. Let them give you a last, even if it is for two hours. Get there prepared and teach. Give it your best. I tell you, kids will always evangelize on our behalf. They will say to the center manager, you, the teacher was here. Who taught us this topic on this particular day? No, that guy is good. In Spedi, they would say, and they would not be lying. You would have marketed yourself. And that first impression will last longer. As you volunteer like that, I tell you, there's going to be a day where you would be approached and there would be a package which you would have to sign for just upon rendering your services. So I hope this would help even to those that are still aspiring to be teachers. You can make extra income. An extra kin income, which is even more than the salary you are getting, if you are going all out in your subject. Don't be a relaxed teacher. Otherwise, you would not have much. But if you go all out, if you are outsourced, if you are requested to come and render services, you know that comes at a cost and a cost which is going to assist in answering to some of your needs. I hope this is helpful. Until next time, thank you.